What's up guys, Dante here from East Coast Green Iron and we're doing another high school film review. This time it's a little different. Elijah Cunningham from Lancaster Catholic High School out in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, which is right in my neck of the woods. Uh, had reached out to me and wanted, wanted me to give him a couple of critiques to his game before he actually plays his first season of college. He will be a freshman, so he might redshirt, but we don't know. But I do appreciate you, Elijah, for reaching out to me and allowing me to review your tape and give you as many pointers as I can. Again, if you're a high school player out there and you want me to review your film please send it over to any of our social media sites or contact us at east coast great iron podcast at gmail.com mostly i check my dms most of the time so I, and I got directly right back to him and a couple other guys i have two more on the docket to do as well so but to get a little bit into elijah and, and his background again he did go to lancaster catholic high school he is committed to cutstown university he will be a freshman he's 5'10 200 pounds so he'll probably be a little bit bigger by the time he actually does step on the field but 40 yard dash he ran a 4.5 he was all state in in pennsylvania and his 2023 and 2000 to 2024 stats um so his last his last year his senior year of high school ran for 1600 yards and 27 touchdowns so you're looking at the stats man it says that you're a beast but a couple things that i'm looking for since he is a running back is on, on film is to see how much that he helped his offensive line not his offensive line helping him so what i mean by that is of course any good running back is going to love a great offensive line but is it because he was forced to run through the open gap or did he have to make some magic happen especially at the second level i want to see him having to miss some guys he said he ran in you know ran in a uh you know a run a run style type of offense so we'll see you know how good his offensive line is how good he was without offensive line and how good he was after if he didn't have any help which is what i'm more interested in i'm more interested in to see what the second level speed is like what his strength is like his cutting ability so we're gonna see all that stuff on film and uh let's just get right into it so i got the huddle film pulled up as you see there there's his stats like I said, man, appreciate you you reaching out to me and, and getting me this film, Elijah. I'm super excited to go ahead and, and break this down here. So there you see, looks like they're running a little bit of three by one set. What's the defense lined up in? They got their linebackers pulled down at like a single high safety right there. See what he does here, taking the inside handoff. Wish we could see the other way, see if what that, you know, what that wide receiver did. The wide receiver put on a good block in the inside, springing him. He's got three guys to beat on the outside. Nice, nice slip. Getting up filled. Nice. That was a very impressive run. Very, very impressive run. Let's go back and see that one more time in, in full speed. Like the vision, kind of stutter steps in the inside waiting on this blocker to get there and that's pretty much what spring this play knew he had to get to the first down marker got that got three guys to beat put on the jets down the field safety kind of hesitated there but you know and he and he scot free for a touchdown that's a great play elijah love that love that your team should be hype on, on things like that all right second clip here so they run a little bit of 11 personnel. Again, these high school teams out in Pennsylvania love running single high safeties. See, I like seeing outs inside handoffs because I want to see not only the offensive line play, but linebackers came up, slip and rip. Taking it and immediately getting to the line of scrimmage. Offensive lineman comes in. Let's see if you make this guy miss. Made a guy miss. Fall on your blockers. Getting to the outside. Ooh. I'm going to watch that again. That's very, very good. Obviously, you're faster than your blockers here, but staying patient knowing that, you know, you got three guys to three guys to beat in this vicinity here. So, you know, how are you going to... How are you going to make something out of nothing, basically? And just that little stutter... You look way bigger on film than, you know, what, what's listed out there. So you already have a really good frame and size to you. 
And the guy's just pushing in the back there because he knows he's not going to be able to beat you. There you go. Another nice touchdown score right there. All right. So we're looking at 12 personnel. The same thing again here, man. A single high safety. Why do they like doing this? Now that you've been slipping and ripping through this, through this offensive line. All right, so we got some pulling offensive linemen here. So we're running to the left side of the field. Got to make that linebacker miss. He did. Got up the field. Let's count them. One, two, three, four defenders you got to make miss. And at second level speed, man, there, there is one thing to having pure speed, and then there's, there's game speed. The one thing I like about Elijah's game so far, and, and I'm kind of wondering... I'm trying to see what could be the negatives to your game. Is it because of the team that you play for, the team that you played against? I don't know too well about the schools out here, just moving out here. But the way to just navigate blocks and let your defenders do what they need to do reminds me of, you know, a little bit of LaDainian Tomlinson ish type stuff right here. Like beautiful. Get up to the line of scrimmage and second level speed, he's gone. Bro, you are way faster on film than than what they say you are. Got everybody cheating down in the box. Taking a toss now. All right, so you know you got 52 to beat out here. You know your guy's pushing the guy down, so you got to avoid traffic out here. One, two, three. You might have 31 that might get free if anything happens. He's locked up, so we'll see. Downfield, what this looks like. Ooh, ooh. Nice. Guys trying to grab it from behind, and you still stepped up. Great vision. You got a lot of purple jerseys out there. Getting to the outside. Is that another touchdown? Yeah, high school film is not all that great, but... I mean, you guys, you got guys just chasing you. So we've seen him take a toss to the house. We've seen him take two inside runs to the house. All right, so we got an edge that got loose. Another inside run. Way to attack the hole, man. Look at the court. Look, look at the running. I almost said quarterback vision. Look at the running back vision here. Gets to open field. Stick to the sideline. Far side hash. Far side hash, so you're not causing a fumble in open field just in case. And he's still got another touchdown there. This is good stuff. Single high safety on the defense. Stacked offensive line. Lyman pushing out. Making one guy miss. So you're 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 strong, man, on the bottom half. Look at that. Guy's trying to get low with you, and you're just shugging him off. Got a lot of white jerseys out there. You, your team, your teammates, some pancake the guy inside, inside the forty there. And you're just making kids chase you. One thing I can say, Elijah, so far that I'm super impressed with is the, you know, outside of your the strength and everything that you have to to break runs and to get around guys is. You're a very patient runner. You allow your teammates to do their job. And if they're not doing their job, you know when to put on the burners and, and, and get in open space. And understanding being closest to the sideline on longer on the long runs is not going to cause a turnover for your team just in case the ball gets knocked out. So that's smart too. But most importantly, like my number one thing is being able to find spaces that you usually shouldn't find at this level of the game. Um, yeah, I mean, Cutstown has got a uh, they got to get a running back on their hands if they if they can develop you the right way in the collar scheme. You might be finding yourself at some FCS level, in a FCS or FBS level school if you play like this in college. Nice, look at the vision. Look at the vision. Now you got yourself in a tricky situation here. Are you trusting that this guy's gonna hang on number 10? You got this guy right here, who's definitely a guy to beat. 
do you just keep it inside or do you just try to, uh, I mean, anytime you're running a straight line horizontally, you're going to slow down and give one of these guys a chance to, to catch up with you and then try to get around. But being able to trust your guy that's over here in the inside to, to pull up a block too is, is super impressive. But he didn't even need to. I mean, you're just you're just putting on the gunners here. And again, get to the sideline. Get to the sideline. Love to see that, man. Love to see that. You're a smart runner. Another inside handoff. Man, this is your bread and butter. I wonder what it would be like if you're running power. Level personnel, power. With the lead blocker in front of you. Yeah, it's your second level speed is what's impressive. Not a lot of guys, a lot of guys have that, but you know, especially in college. I mean, especially when you see a guy, you know, like this in front of you, he's hunched over. He's running so hard to get to you and up tall sideline touchdown. That's probably the most impressive run so far on this film. So the thing I like about this, again, you're taking another inside handoff. You gotta wait for your blockers to get there, but look how much congestion that you had to run through. Pretty much your whole team is on that other far side hash. This is the only lonely guy out here. Far side right hash, you got a lot of trouble to, to get through. And you get through it, all the congestion, you stay confident, and again, sticking to that sideline, knowing that that's the safest spot. Again, already, you already have the size, man. You already have the size. And then down the field you go. Bam. Gonna take another handoff. Get to the sideline. And <laughs> hurdling the guy. Wow. Okay, so obviously the up guy that you had to get get around. Got to get around a couple, a couple things. This guy falling down, trying to grab your ankle. Safety come down, trying to get you. You got to trust your teammate. But you trust in the sideline, man. You trust in the sideline, which is great. I know I keep saying that, but it's it's so important for a running back to trust what's around him. Another play right upside the middle. You're getting grabbed and a touchdown. Okay, now we find ourselves into some real trouble. Guys are trying to run right up the middle. Solid A gap run. Gaps collapsed. Edges are there. 21's on you. 21 doesn't know how to tackle and you make them pay for it. Wow. Then you still cut inside, man. See, this is fun to watch right here. You can't teach this type of stuff. This is old school running back mentality. You could have kept it to the sideline, but understanding that you got this guy blocked off and to give this guy enough time to get here and to cause him trouble, just in case your teammate couldn't get there, you cut it inside and take the strongest side of the field as far as running lanes. Good stuff. You only had within five yards to get there. Great vision, man. Here we go. Just another run. You guys run a lot of inside zone, inside handoffs. I've seen one toss so far. Here we go. Taking another. 
Another run, breaking tackles up the middle. Two by two set, coming out of the slot, getting a handoff here. I, the only thing I would have liked is now that I've seen your burners is I guess the one critique, especially on this, once you get the handoff, take it upfield as, as hard as you can. I want to see some grass beneath them feet. Nice. Got tackled right there. I wonder how late in the game was this where, where you're just a little tired. Because it seems like in the other games you were running much harder. But that's a lot of congestion. This team looked very fast compared to the other ones too. So we got cover two zone. So you know. Your wide receiver's got to get to that corner and put the block on him. So you might have a little space. Oh, stiff arm. Throw a little stiff arm there. Cut inside. It's nasty work right there. Got to beat number three. Did he get to you? Ah, he just got to you at the end. All right, so we get a little bit of toss action here. That should have never, if this is a touchdown, this should have never been a touchdown. Look how hard you're running. This is how hard that you should be running every single rep. Every rep. Just get there. Go, 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 go. Even the guys trying to horse collar you and do all kinds of wacky stuff. You still got there. All right, so we got our first down, ball in the 34. In the first quarter. Five minutes and 55 seconds to go. So you guys have been playing a little bit in the first quarter here. See what you got working. Low snap. Got through the gap. Take the out the outside as your friend. Took the inside because your blocker was there. Took another inside run. So we're starting to see not the touchdown runs, but more so you trying to get yourself out of trouble. You have a great base when you're running. You're not an up top runner. You run like a true running back. That's it's one of the things that I, I when I coached, I found a lot of kids that were doing this. They were running so far. It looked like a transformer when they're running. They didn't really have the size, but understand having a strong wide base when you're running like you do. That's why you're able to break a couple of those tackles and then wow, another spin move. So add that to your arsenal. So you got spin moves, you got jukes, you got stutter steps, you got second level speed. Oh, that that's nasty. Two jukes. Watch your boy number eight or number 11, whatever his number is down here. Watch your teammate right here. He was just watching it. Look, look at the lean. Look at the lean. Look at <laughs> look how he's leaning. He knew this was cinema, man. Cinema. Wow, just making that first guy miss. And he jumped and leaped after the tackle, and he still got to the outside. Quarterback's happy about that. Easy work. So it seems like you're a red zone monster, man. Getting up the field, yep. And just busting the outside run, get to the sideline. Great, miss a tackle. I'll take it all day. It's because that's how, that's how much yardage that they're going to try to give you in, in college. Not even that, but... Learning where the open space is, which is usually the sideline. Good. Way to fall forward, too. Never get tackled moving backwards. Always be leaning forward. So that's that's a very good trait that you already have from what I've seen here. 
I got confused on which team was which. I know you guys are purple and yellow too, so I got confused. Here we go. Taking the inside run. Linebackers just waiting on you to make a mistake. You wait for your blocker, slip a block, put a, wow, great stiff arm on the guy, slip another block. You know, stuff like this, you, you can't teach people to keep moving forward, keep those legs turning, keep doing that, Elijah. If, th if that's something that, that you preface yourself on, keep doing that. It's hard to see from, from this angle, but still. You getting 10 yards at those type of plays when people are gang tackling you like that. It's great. Nice cut. Nice. Could you have could you have had any other running lanes? So that's what I'm exactly trying to nitpick. So many yellow you got three yellow, white jerseys around you. Four. And you still got yardage. Great run. Here we go. Nice stiff arm. Get to the sideline. There you go. They got a couple more clips here. This is impressive, man. Look at that. Hurdling over a guy. You know you got to get the first down. Get over. First down. Already done. Hurdling a guy. Dragging people with you for first and more. 15 yard run. Easy. What's well, this? The second quarter. Got a bit of, you got a little bit of a uh, Texas Bijan Robinson in you, man. This is this was impressive. Well, guys, this was fun to watch, man. Uh, Elijah definitely, if if there was a colleges out there looking at your look just at this film and at these highlights itself, I think you have a lot of great traits, man. Your cutting ability is insane. Your your vision is really, really good. I think that's the best part of your game. Your second level speaking eh, can be a little inconsistent here and there. But again, some of that film didn't have exactly where the down and distance and what quarter that you're in. You maybe were tired, but conditioning, you can always work on at the next level. Um, I would have liked to seen what your catching ability is like out of the backfield. I know you, got, I know you say you guys didn't do that a lot, but... I wonder what that would have been like um, and you know how much you're going to have to open your game there because it is that is one of the biggest parts so I would start working it on that I don't know it cuts down what, what they do as far as offensive scheme but I imagine that they run to you know throw to the running back every once in a while that's just the game that we live in so start getting your hands ready for that um, conditioning and you know, mo most importantly, staying to the sideline when you get in open space, that's great. Making sure the ball is protected at all times. I didn't didn't see you fumble. There's no stats on you fumbling. So, but if you feel like that the ball's not always secure, make sure you got that down pat. Overall, man, I've reviewed lots of high school film, and this is to me one of the best ones. I hate always seeing the the runs where. The quarterback or the running back didn't really have to do a lot to get open. You had to actually make a lot of that yourself. Offensive line was pretty good. Your offensive line was was actually all right. But a lot of that second level stuff when you got three linebackers on you and you're trying to find a hole and you making something out of nothing, that's all you, man. So I understand why you got the offer that you got. I still think if there's any FCS schools out there that, that need a running back, you know, if, if cuts down is the place that you want to play for the rest of your career, that's fine. But I would not ignore any calls that may be coming your way. If you ball out in college, man, or, you know, in your first couple of years here, um, I think you could be an FCS level quarterback or uh, running back, especially if not, you know, a group of five type running back. Um, you know, uh, you got an old school running back mentality. And I love that. I would love to know what running backs that you watched on film that you model your game after as well. But anyways, man, this was a good one. 
if uh like i said if there's anybody out there that wants me to review your college film please let me know i will be more than happy to again i got two people online that i have to do next um i believe you like to go by eli so eli i appreciate you sending this over man this was this was very fun to watch and uh, i'll be sure to post this and uh for everybody else thanks for watching go ahead and give elijah a follow on um on x and uh, if there's any other college coaches there goes his email send him an email all right, guys. We'll talk to you guys later.